If you are going online and looking for GLP-1 patches, they're super popular right now. Everybody's wanting GLP-1 patches for weight loss. You may not realize that they do not actually contain GLP-1. My name is Sean. I've lost 140 pounds through bariatric surgery and weight loss medication, including GLP-1s. And I'm a health journalist, and I'm here to share the science about these GLP-1 patches. Let's get into it. The GLP-1 patches do not actually contain GLP-1. Most of them are made with berberine, which is a natural supplement, which can impact your appetite and can impact your, help manage your insulin. But it's a supplement. It's not scientifically proven to be effective consistently effective or as effective as GLP-1s for accomplishing these goals and helping people lose weight. So if you see something labeled GLP, number one, the other thing is like GLP, actual GLP-1s need to be prescribed by a physician. So if you see these GLP-1 patches, unfortunately they do not contain actual GLP-1. Let's talk about what GLP-1 is so you have the information you need to make a good decision about your health. Um, GLP-1 stands for glucagon-like peptide 1. It is a hormone that your body normally makes. When you eat, your gut starts to make GLP-1. Part of it tells your brain, hey, we getting full. And the other way that it works is it helps your body manage insulin. In some people who have obesity, either the gut is not making enough GLP-1 or the brain isn't picking up the signal. And so these medicines that are actual GLP-1, like semaglutide, Wegovy, Ozempic, and then uh, Manjaro and Zetbound are actually two hormones, GLP-1 and GIP. They are synthetic versions of your natural GLP-1. And they are very powerful. Like these are not your grandma's AIDS appetite suppressants. They are super powerful. They're life-changing for people who take them and need them. Okay, so the other thing about this hormone, GLP-1, is that it cannot be absorbed through your skin. Your skin is made to keep stuff out, okay? Um, but it cannot be absorbed through your skin. The injections, the medicine, uh, is actually injected just underneath your skin. Okay, so these patches are not are not going to deliver actual GLP-1. If you are looking for medication for weight loss, go talk to ideally an obesity medicine specialist if you if you have obesity, uh, or go to an endocrinologist. Um, some primary care providers understand net more about how to prescribe GLP-1s and how to treat obesity as a disease. It is a disease. Um, so go to a medical professional to get a prescription. You're also gonna have to be monitored. Like usually the protocol is that you're on a small dose when you first start taking a GLP-1 to get your body used to the medicine. Sometimes it takes a month to get your body acclimated. And then you graduate to a higher dose, a, a bigger dose, that's actually therapeutic and going to cause weight loss. Um, so if you have insurance and your insurance will not cover GLP-1 or you have to pay out of pocket, you can go to the pharmacy, pharmaceutical manufacturer, the, the pharma companies. So Eli Lilly has an online um, pharmacy called Lilly Direct and Novo Norcare has an online pharmacy too. And you can buy directly from them. You have to still have a prescription from a care provider, but you can buy directly from them. They have a program so that it is less expensive than what the list price is. Um, and, and in part because, uh, especially with um, terzepatide, Manjaro and Zetbound, it's in vials. And so you ha it's not an auto injector pen. You have to fill a syringe and inject it yourself under your skin. And they give you instructions so you can do it safely and you know what you're doing. Um, but that is, that is probably one of the best ways to access brand name versions of these medications. 
there are other medications too that can help you with weight loss. Um, metformin, um, which was um, ha is used off label for weight loss. Metformin, a lot of people don't know, metformin actually stimulates your gut to create more GLP-1. So a lot of people go into the doctor's office looking for weight loss help and they you know, are hoping they will get a GLP-1 and either your insurance denies you or the doctor says, hey, let's try something else first. Um, metformin is not a bad medication to be on. It is actually helpful for people. Um, and um, so, and it, one of the ways it works is that it um, stimulates your body to make more of its own natural GLP-1. So if your doctor says, hey, let's start with this first, um, you know, certainly there are side effects that you should be aware of, um, but it's not a bad place to start. Also, the other thing that a lot of people don't realize about obesity is that it's a very complicated disease. There are more than 300 genes that impact um, weight or cause obesity or are related to obesity. Plus there's brain chemistry and hormones, environmental factors. There's a bunch of different factors that contribute to obesity and it's different for everybody. And because it's different for everybody, like it's not a one medicine fits all kind of disease. You, the, the medicines that are coming out now that are super powerful also should be personalized for each person. So you should have a medical professional who understands obesity and can diagnose or determine what is causing your specific obesity and then recommend a medication to match that. So that way you're really targeting what the root issue is. Um, so sometimes, there's some people who take Ozempic or another GLP-1 and it doesn't work for them because that's not their biological problem. It's not that the medicine isn't effective, it's just that GLP-1 deficiency basically is not your issue. There's another issue going on. It could be brain chemistry, it could be something else. So you really do need to work with a care provider who understands obesity, okay? So if you are looking for help with obesity, understand that it's a disease, you deserve medical care, and um, like you should get real medical care. Like the patches are a supplement. They aren't actual GLP-1, okay? So I just want you to make an informed decision, all right? If you have any questions, if you have any experiences, drop those into the comments. I I'll be curious to hear what you think. Take care.